Hi everyone, John here back again with a new video in reaction to the breaking news yesterday morning that Arsene Wenger is no longer going to be the Arsenal manager as of the end of the season. Now, it's just typical as a West Ham supporter that we're the next team that Arsenal are going to play. We're, go you know, we're playing them tomorrow. I'm actually going, which is cool. Um, so you'll see my post-match reaction. I'll probably do a few videos in between there as well, spice them all together. But yeah, you know, as I say, it's just typical that you know, uh, the you know the players are now going to go out 100, 115 percent for them, and we're probably going to get turned over left, right, and centre. But in the meantime, what I thought I would do is that we, I thought I'd do a video um, in celebration of Arsene Wenger as a neutral, not just not as a West Ham supporter, and and because I don't I don't hate Arsenal. I mean, they're, they're fans of wankers, but as a team. I don't, um, I don't hate them. I, I think they're, I think they're a very, very good side. And Arsenal Wenger's done a, done a lot of good stuff with them, um, which I'm going to talk about in a, in a, in a little while. Um, but I thought I'd start off first of all with the background information of him, you know, because he, he's there's more to Arsenal Wenger than just Arsenal. I mean, yes, okay, you know, it's, he spent twenty two, he spent twenty two years. You know, he joined in October ninety six. Um, a completely unknown manager at that point. Um, nobody had heard of him. You know, as, as everybody remembers, remembers when he first came in. He's, he's tall. You know, he's he's only a little bit taller than me. Um, but he was a gangly, big glassed Frenchman. Got sorry, big glasses, Frenchman. And what he did, what he did for the club. Was fantastic, regardless of what all the current Arsenal supporters. I mean, some of the some of the Arsenal supporters were weren't even born around mouth and off about how bad it is at Arsenal. Some of them weren't even born when he was take when he took took over. That's how long he's been in charge for. Okay, so let's start off with his background. Um, he was born in Strasbourg in France. Um, he was playing with him. He was he was a. He was a born from a family with um, that owned car a car car spares shop, um, so you know he was quite he came from quite humble backgrounds, you know to to become one of the world greatest managers, you know definitely one of the best managers in the Premier League. I mean there is there aren't really you can, you can, genuinely great managers, and I'm not just talking about um, what they've won, you know. Um, Great people are great at their job. You don't have to win all the time to be great at your job. You know, when it comes to football, as long as you're as long as you're playing the football that everybody wants to see, as long as those players are playing the football that everybody wants to see and are putting the heart, the heart and desire in, into it, then you know that's 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 good. That's that's exactly what we all want. And that for me, that makes you a great manager. And Arsene Wenger is definitely one of those. Regardless of all the trophies he's won throughout his entire career before and including Arsenal, he is a great manager and he will be sorely, sorely missed in the Premier League. But anyway, let's go back to let's say his, his humble beginnings is he was um he was as I say he was a midfit he was a midfielder. Um he broke into um Morehouse senior team in 1973. So he would have been 20, 24 at that point, 23, 24. Um, he scored 56 goals and four, uh, sorry, 50, he had 56 appearances and scored four goals. So for a 23, 24 year old having their, um, you know, and he he was there, he was only there for two seasons. So he was twenty six when he twenty five twenty six when he when he left, um, was to join ASPV Strasbourg. You know that that's 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 not a great turnaround to be honest. Fifty six appearances and four goals for over a two year period that equates basically to yeah. So let's 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 do, let's, 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 let's do the math on it. Twenty. <laughs> Where are we? So we're looking at 28, 28 appearances and two goals a season. You know, twenty eight appearances each season and two goals a season. You know, he might have had twenty. You know, but let's say fifty six appearances over two seasons and four goals over that period of time isn't brilliant. Um, 
which is why he was only there for two seasons. Um, he was at AS VP Strasbourg from 75 to 78, had no appearances whatsoever. And at 78 to 81, he was at Strasbourg himself. So itself, so that's great from what from a per, from his personal point of view, because at the end of the day, you know, all right, yeah, okay, he was. Excuse me, you know, all right, he was he was very very old at that point. He was in terms of footballing, you know, he he was he would have been yeah, so 78 to 81, he would have been. <coughs> He would have been 29, started there at 29, ended at 32. So 78 to 81. So, you know, at the end of his career, made 11 appearances over those three seasons. And um, But he's playing for his hometown, hometown club, like everybody wants to do when you're, when, when you, when you're a footballer. You want to play for your local team. You know, you want to, you know, it's, it, he, was, he was home for, for three seasons. And that's good, you know. So he, you know, he he made sixty-seven appearances in total in his in his senior career and scored scored four goals. Um, doesn't the information I've got? It doesn't say what he um how many assists he got. You know, maybe in those days they weren't properly counted. Um, but when he but after that, so when he was thirty-three, he passed he passed all his he passed his um he went into he went into doing his badges as we call it. So in 1984, he was manager of Nancy and was there for three seasons. Uh, where are you? you know, he, he unfortunately wasn't very successful there. I mean, it's against not surprising um, that he wasn't very good at his first job because at the end of the day, he's learning his ropes as a as a manager. You know, as a manager. At the low, at the lower league, no disrespect to Nancy fans if the club is still going, but you know I'm sure which I'm sure it is, um, but it's you know it's plying his trade, you know learning, 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 learning all the time. That's what you've got to do as a manager. You you have to be constantly learning about what you're doing, you know, and, and you know, and it's and it's just it's it's it was, you know, it's people people think right you you got to hit the ground running. Not when you're a manager, you know you've got to understand the club, you've got to understand the people, you've got to understand the fans, you've got to understand the people that work there, you've got to understand the players that are there, you've got to understand the formations that the club wants to play, you want to understand the, the style that people want to play. You just can't go in going right. This is my philosophy. Boom, you know, f forget everything else that was going on before. Just go. No, that's that's not that's not how a decent manager is. A decent manager gets to know the players, gets to know. The people that he works with gets to know um, the the opinions and the thoughts of the fans. Obviously, gets to know the mat, the board, and the manager, and um, you know the, the backroom staff. Tweaks it here and there to to be to be um, to become better and better all the time. And unfortunately, he didn't do that in his first job, which again is completely understandable. I mean, who was great at their first job when they first started working? You know, we were, you know. You know, when when you're in when you're doing something completely different, going from one being a player to being a manager, it's like going from working from a shop to working in an office. You know, you've there's a lot to adapt to. There's a lot of things, stupid things you've got to learn, um, in order to in order to help you correct progress in in your career. Right. So anyway, back to <laughs> back to Arsene Wenger's history. Um, he then he then became in um, he then became the AS AS Monaco manager. And the club won the won the championship title in nineteen eighty eight. So he obviously took what he got from Nancy, applied it to Monaco, and then was brilliant. And, you know, and was brilliant there. I mean, in nineteen ninety one, <coughs> excuse me. Is that yeah? So he was at Monaco from nineteen eighty seven to nineteen ninety four. Within that time, in nineteen ninety one, they won the they um they won the coupe um the coupe de France, which is basically the, the the French version of the Premier League title, from what, if I if I remember correctly, um, but unfortunately he left in nineteen ninety four because they weren't able to retain the title. Um, he was in he was in the Japanese um, J League. He was man manager of Nagora Campus Eight, where they won the Emperor's Cup and the Japanese Super Club Super Cup through period the period of yeah so yeah. Two seasons, ninety-five to ninety-six, 
in two seasons, he'd won two, he'd, he'd won two tro- um, title trophies in, in that period of time. That's that's showing that's the that is showing the reason why he he, he went to Arsenal because he was showing that from you know from the from the mid mid uh, from the late eighties onwards. He was learning his play, play. So he was playing his trade. He was learning all the time. He was bringing in better players. He was making sure that the clubs he was being at were, he was working at were successful. Uh, and he was he was winning titles. I mean, at the end of the day, he was winning titles and cups. I mean, at the end of the day, all people seem to worry about. I don't, but I mean, even sorry, even if I was an Arsenal supporter, my ethos would still would still be exactly the same. It's not, as I said earlier, it's not about cups. It's about how. You play football. That's that's what wins you the cups. It's not about winning them. You could, you know, if if Sam Allardyce went on and won the, the FA Cup and the the League Cup and the and the um, you know, just by his boring shitty tactics, everyone will class him as a great manager because he's done exactly that because he's won titles and trophies and but no, that's bollocks. Who 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 would want to win F? Who would want to be a Cup. Who? What club would want to support Allardyce to a FA Cup final? I mean, the you know, like for example, okay, you know, like technically when Allardyce was in was in charge of us, he um he won the he won the champ he, he won the championship league, you know, we we got we we won the playoff final, you know, and that's, but that was that was basically because that was basically because the the club said right. We want, we want Wembley, and we, you know, we were odds on from January that season. We were odds on to win it. We're in odds on to be get automatic promotion. But all of a sudden, we fucked it. Got down, got down into the playoffs, and obviously won it that way. And that was a squeaky bum game that against Blackpool. Jesus, <sighs> if I stay the hero, <laughs> you know, Carlton Carl played brilliantly in that game as well. But Vaz stay with that late minute, you know, that almost that last minute winner. Oh, anyway, if you want to go and see my thoughts on that, go and look at my earlier videos where I talk about my his, my f- history of West Ham games. So, anyway, digressing yet again. So, back to Wenger. So, in October 1996, he was appointed Arsenal manager. Now, one of the things that I said earlier about what he's brought to the Premier League is he was one of the first managers ever if not the first manager ever to bring in basically the sports science and health regime that we now you that we now are so accustomed to in the premier league he was the first manager to to sort out everybody's diet you know because in in those days people were still living living the good the good life in that in in certain ways you know people were still doing um people were still Going out, going out for beers, left, right, and centre. You know, going, going out um, as they still do here and there. Um, you know, eating, eating pies. You know, and before football games and all that sort of stuff. You know, and he, he changed that completely, absolutely, completely. You know, he was, he was basically, he understood what it meant to be a player, and he played. He. he he used that knowledge and experience from from previous clubs he played to played at and managed that to basically change how football works it, just completely. You know he was he was literally um, sorry there's a beautiful woman walking past the window. My apologies. I get I, as everybody knows from watching this over the last nine months, I get distracted easily. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know as I say he 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 made such leaps and bounds in the nutrition side of things to, to get people to be not be sportsmen anymore but be, become the athletes that they aren't they are they pretty much are now with the exception of a few players um you know he was he, he changed everything he made he made such leaps and bounds that everybody has copied not just not just the background stuff, but the 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 um, he nicked he basically nicked the the West Ham way off us. You know he he was playing free and play, not all the time because it depends on the club you're playing at and you've got to change your style of play a lot of the time. I mean the you know the the funny thing is, is over the last ten fifteen well fifteen fifteen twenty years 
the the the, the mimicry that Arsenal have, Arsenal have had is is the is the following line. You know, Arsenal just want to walk the ball into the back of the net, and that's not a bad thing in any shape or form. It's an arrogant way of playing, but that's what all footballers want to do. See, we want to see free free flowing football. And great goals, great goals being scored that look so easy to, to score, and that's one of the reasons why Arsenal Arsenal supporters over the last 15, 20 years under his tenure are be, have become so spoilt and just would and just don't understand how difficult it is being a normal league football supporter. You know they've been they've been you know they've consistently been in the pre, in the Champions League up until this season for the last 18 years every single season they're in the top four you know they they it's just been incredible the only the only person that has topped Arsene, Arsene Wenger is Sir Alex Ferguson that's it you know Wenger, Wenger won won the league um, with no losses quite a few draws but quite a lot of wins at the same point you know the you know the on um, the um yeah he he won the league with the team of invincibles you know that's not an easy thing to do as man city are proving this season you know you can't just you can't it's very very difficult for for um a team to lose so to not lose a game at all Regardless of how much money you spent, regardless of what quality you've got on the pitch, every team stands a very, very good chance of winning every game and a very good chance of losing every game and a very good chance of drawing. You know, Arsene Wenger, for some reason, you know, that undefeated season was incredible. You know, as Gary Neville's come out and come out and said that Wenger created one of the best side best sides that he's ever played against. You know, including the invincible season. You know, it's just it's it, we will never I will very, very be I'll be very, very surprised if we ever see a team like that ever again. I will be very surprised if we get to see a manager like Arsene Wenger ever again. You know, he's he's done so much. He's he's won the he's won the Premier League Quite a few times, he's won the FA Cup shitloads. The only thing he hasn't won, if I remember correctly, because I think he's he, he has also won the equivalent of the Europa League before it was called the Europa League, is the League Cup. That's the only thing that he hasn't won. He's won everything. He's won everything else. His fans have seen success in every other thing going, and they're still not happy. <laughs> they're not happy. Because they're not in the Champions League. Well, duty fucking do. All right. At least you're going. At least you're going out to. At least you're going out to um, Europe. Still, you're still in. You're still in the Europa League. All right. Yeah. It's the two. It's the Tim Pot Mickey Mouse League. Blah 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 blah. It's, it isn't. It isn't. You know a lot. If you win the Europa League like uh, Man United did the other season, um, I think Chelsea. I think Chelsea have as well. You know, it's just. I might be wrong on that. Chelsea fans, let me know if I'm wrong on that. But, you know, it's just, it's, I just don't, as you know, as a, as a, as a love of a fourth generation lover of West Ham, I don't understand how these Arsenal supporters are so up in arms. You're not facing the threat of relegation. You've been, you've got one, of, you've got the best Premier League manager ever, bar one, in charge of you for over 20 years, you know, two decades. You know, he's got these teenagers who are going mouthing off saying, oh, Wenger shit, football, blah, 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 blah. They weren't even born when they were struggling, when they were just a normal football team, you know, normal in, in terms of, you know, mid-table, you know, decent, still decent playing football, decent progression. But yeah, one of the other things that um, I really admire about Arsene Wenger and Arsenal is that is the ability to bring through youngsters. I mean, how many times have we seen when there's been the League Cup or the early stages of the FA Cup 
that the majority of the the Arsenal players are the juniors. That's the only way they get to learn. Yeah, okay, you know, he's Wenger's had his nicknames over the years about being a paedophile because he, you know, he goes after young young players, but you know, which he does, you know, and but. He develops people. He develops them from a young age. He brings them through, tells them what to do, sorts their diet out, sorts their their exercises out. You know, drills them really fucking hard on the on the training pitch, and he's developed some of the best players we have ever seen in the old League One and the and the Premier League. You know, he's developed players like Tony Adams. Unfortunately, he couldn't sort out his alcoholism, but nobody nobody can fix everybody. He's developed, I say, players like Tony Adams. He brought through Dennis Burke, you know, he identified and brought Dennis Burkamp. Again, an absolute legend. And I don't use legend very, very often. As you guys will hardly ever see hear me on my videos say, use the word awesome. But I am in awe of Arsene Wenger. He is the manager that everybody in a club like West Ham, that style of manager, is screaming out for. Somebody that will just be so successful, play, win games comfortably, not the shit squeaky bum one nils or the two ones or the three twos we've been at, we, we have to see. Winning games three or four nil, totally dominating possession, totally playing decent flight free flowing football, and just being a great, great manager. That's what that's what he is. I love him to bits. I would I would love I mean, obviously, he's not. He's not going to. He's not. He's when he steps down, he's probably going to either retire or he's going to go abroad. But I, I would, I would, I would beg on my hands and knees if I could to, for Arsenal, Arsenal Wenger to become West Ham's manager next season. That's the sort. Of, that's the sort of manager we need. He's too old for it now, um, hence why he's stepping down. And he's probably say he's probably going to retire or go abroad somewhere or just. Um, but you know, he's. He's the perfect manager for a team like West Ham, and he was because Arsenal were were a team like were a team like like West Ham in the late eighties, early nineties. You know they they was they were still quite successful as a team, um, but they needed that needed that next level manager that we need to kick them on and, and to to do what they've done. Um, so I say you know just in in terms of his player development, he's developed oh. God, if I listed everybody that I can remember, you know, it's just, oh, you know, David Seaman, one of the best goalkeepers England and Arsenal have ever seen. You know, Thierry Henry, Theo Walcott, uh, B -b 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 Pietric, I mean, Pietric, Patrick Vieira. I mean, I, honestly, the list, the list is, the list is almost endless over the last twenty years that we've that we've seen, and how decent they are. It's just, you know, we. I would, I would love for us to discover the next Thierry Henry. I mean, we came very close to it with Ravel Morrison before his ego got in the way. Um, you know, Jack Wilshere, for example, Aaron Ramsey. Just you know, just just from the just from the current squad alone, you know, Alex o Oxlade Chamberlain. You know, um, just players that have just have rocked football. In various different ways, good and bad, you know. It's just we need that's we need those sort of players. We need that love. We need that attention and affection that these guys genuinely have for the team and for the and for the manager. You don't see much, you know. You don't see much dissent from from the true Arsenal players. Um, you know, Arsenal now, like the rest of us now, unfortunately, are just becoming a, a team um, to. That are attracting journeymen. I mean, Koscielny, what the fuck is wrong with him? Honestly, I couldn't. But I, I, I used to rate him quite a lot. I just, I think he's shit now. And that's from that's me saying it as a West Ham supporter. I think, I think, I think Koscielny's terrible. I'm, you know, but I would say Arsene Wenger has done fantastically well at, at Arsen, Arsenal. Um, we will never get to see his like again. Um, Mourinho is trying it, but he's failing miserably at trying to do that. Um, you know, he's Mourinho is nowhere near as good as Arsene Wenger, and he knows it, which is the reason why they don't get on. Because 
because Mourinho is so arrogant, internally arrogant. I mean, both. That's the fun. That's the funny thing about Arsene Wenger and and Jose Mourinho and Sir Alex Ferguson. They were all just as arrogant as each other. All great in their fields. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Jose Mourinho is a bad manager. I'm not. Is he as good as Arsene Wenger? There's a good argument to say that he is, and there's a great argument to say that he's not. Purely because of, purely because of the the way that Arsene Wenger has been able to mould. He basically has moulded the Premier League. You know, we are, all the football teams are now all doing, and not just for, not just the Premier League, the Championship Championship downwards. Everybody is doing what he's doing. He brought in everyone is doing sports science. Everybody's diet regime has changed drastically. Every you know, it's just that it's that stuff that we all love to see. And we never get, we will never get the chance to see that again. So, Arsenal, if you're watching, which I highly doubt you are, um, but thank you very, very much for this, for for what we've got to see. As as I say, as a neutral, it's been an absolute pleasure up until the last few seasons um, to watch Arsenal. It's still been a pleasure to watch Arsenal. It's not been a pleasure to watch Arsenal beat the crap out of us, um, like it, like it, like it was. Four years ago, four or five years. Uh, no, it'd be more than that now. It'd be from five, five, six years ago, um, where we were one all up, one all at half time, due to great Jack Collinson equaliser, and then we got absolutely turned over in the second half and lost it five one. You know, it was or four one. It was one of the two. Um, you know, it, that was painful. Um, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, Arsene Wenger, thank you very much for all your footballing styles. Your, your different regimes of how you've approached the game your your adaption to the game your inspiration to the game you've been an inspiration to everybody and any manager that says up likewise is a liar because everybody's everybody is has trying has tried to mimic sir alex ferguson everybody's tried to mimic arsene wenger and everyone is trying to mimic jose Mourinho style of football and management so there's my video guys um please let me know how you feel on it um, apologies that I've rented, rented a few places and digressed quite a few times. Um, but as you know, none of my videos are structured. I mean, this is this is this is like the fourth or fifth take. <laughs> just, I just really, really try to hone it as much as I possibly could. Um, I was going to do more of, um, you know, I was going to do a bit more preparation for it, but that's because, as I said, I was expecting Mourinho. Uh, sorry, I was expecting uh, Wenger to step down. A lot later than he actually has announced it so i was expecting it to come out at the end of the season so i would have done it then but yeah i mean at the end of the day um there's a very very good chance that arsenal are going to win the fa cup just purely for him um they're going to turn us over tomorrow purely for him they're going to i'm guarantee they're either going to go out all guns blazing or they're just going to be absolutely shocking for the rest of the season it's going to be one or the other. You never get a mediocre support, um, performance from Arsenal, regardless of what the, the supporters say. So, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be doing my video, as I said at the beginning, I'll be doing my uh, post-match reaction video to Arsenal uh, tomorrow. And also, weekly thoughts will be coming up as well, probably probably this, later this afternoon, because I won't have time to do it tomorrow. So, thanks, thanks for watching. If, you, if you're new around here and you like what I'm doing, please um, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you like the video, please give me a like. Um, so, yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Take care.